Gulf Suites Tulsa is now closed after reportedly being evicted for breaching its lease agreement. The abrupt closure came as a shock to the community and employees who say that they only found out about the closure just hours before it happened. News Channel 8's Mackenzie Richmond reports. Former employees I spoke with say they feel lied to. The possibility of a closure has been looming for months. Though the kitchen staff, the bartenders, the servers, and the facility managers here at Golf Suites Tulsa only found out the day of the closure, some just hours before their shift. One former employee says she received this message less than two hours before starting her shift. The general manager says golf suites will not be open on Tuesday morning because of a, quote, sewer issue. But just an hour later, she received this message informing employees golf suites Tulsa is permanently closed and they are all being let go. She asked to remain anonymous for her protection. Um, it was honestly like I got punched in the gut. I was totally in shock. Employees did not receive any warning or phone call. Just one group message sent to dozens of employees. I just don't understand why they have such a lack of compassion for the people who gave them so much. I think it was very unprofessional and I really don't appreciate it being a mom. This is still how we pay for our bills. The closure comes after Golf Suites was reportedly evicted for breaching its lease agreement with the commercial property. The property is owned by the Muscogee Creek Nation and managed by the nation's subsidiary, One Fire Holdings Company. According to the Jenks Riverwalk, One Fire has tried to negotiate with Golf Suites on its tenancy since December of 2022. Though the company claims they didn't know they were being evicted on Tuesday, employees say otherwise. The general manager's son was going around telling people that there was something big coming. Don't know what that he was applying, but we're assuming that this is what he was talking about. So we're thinking that he knew. And then that Monday night, although they're assuming that or claiming that they didn't know that this was going to happen, they were making the closing crew do unusual duties that they wouldn't normally do. On Tuesday, Golf Suites released a statement on its Facebook page. It read, with a heavy heart, we're bidding farewell to our beloved Tulsa Golf Suites. In the statement, the company recognized its customers for their passion and support. And as a final farewell to their employees. The managers do get a severance package, but all the, the rest of us get nothing. There's nobody helping us. They completely shut down the app that we communicate with each other on and our general manager who got a promotion was adamant that we never have his number and never contact him outside of work. We reached out to Golf Suites for comment on the sudden closure but have yet to receive a response back. From Jenks, Mackenzie Richmond, News Channel 8.